All right. Impromptu let's watch. I think it's impromptu let's watch time. All right, impromptu let's watch. All right, what do we got? We've got uh, 14. So we've got one. I'm gonna grab these trailers, gather them all up, like little nuggets and put them in a row. And then uh, we can watch Final Fantasy 14. Ah, uh, no, something's playing. No, no plays, no play. Bad, bad no play. Sometimes autoplay is a bit of a butt like that. Like you just, you just want to keep moving and it's just like, nah, I'm just, I'm gonna just do what I want. All right. There's four I didn't post, which I mentioned on Discord. All right, let's, let's have a look-see. Autoplay is a butt head, yeah. Yeah, I, I swear I turn it off and then it comes back on. All right, chat. Time for some trailers. You ready? Actually, what we're gonna do, we'll switch over to uh, over here. All right, no BGM for this because we've got some Final Fantasy you to watch. Hang on, if I do this. Actually, we'll just leave it like that, because I'll leave it like that just because of the fact that, um... Otherwise, there'd be a lot of shit on screen. Oh, actually, you know what I can do. One step further. One step beyond. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. All right, you ready, chat? Most recent four are ones I didn't post. I'll give you them. Okay. Thank you, Dargon. Let's watch. So, this is the Endwalker new version of the trailer. It's five minutes. This is a long trailer. I love that they're called the Bre business, Creative Business Unit. I will say the new song isn't as strong as I... I, I like Shadowbringers music a lot. So again, this is an updated version of the trailer we've already seen. Um, the song is stronger in this version? It better be. Walking on the moon. We're going to the moon. I was so excited when they went with the reveal. We knew this was coming and it was it's happening. We're going to the moon, baby! I love that Final Fantasy is going to the places it needs to go. Like, it, it's... This game is so in homage to Final Fantasy. Like every Final Fantasy. The final days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray. Its land rent by tooth and claw. Tooth and claw. Again, 14 still might be my favorite JRPG in a decade. Shadow Ringers is really, really good. Yep, 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 yep. There's one new class. Sage. But will we see the new class in this trailer is the question. Come on. Whoa! The star seemed doomed to unravel, and yet they are the Voidlings. It is the Voidlings are coming. It is okay. So our predictions are true as to what the hell it is. Those who stood in defiance. Oh my God! Is that Tiamat working with? Dude! Oh, that looked awesome. Oh my God! I'm so glad he's joined the party. He's a Scion now. Wait, which dragon is that? I don't recognize that dragon. Mm. 
literally the first brood's name there. Oh, okay. So there's new lyrics. This bit, I like this bit here. I'll have to listen to the lyrics later because usually they're important. Oh, it's our boy. You took your time. Tis as we feared. The respite afforded this land was but fleeting. The end draws nigh. Oh, oh, well. You're using the map. Oh, shit. Oh, we're actually getting to see it. The island we never got to visit. Dude! Oh, that looks so good! Hi, Rainbow! What is more? Wow, he, his face looks really weird in this cutscene. Who's this? So, Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? It would. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must then, but we scions will fight. Until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. Wait, what? Hang on, so this is a cancel for that, for whatever that city is, I assume. Because I don't know who those are. Oh my god, he chose his weapon! It's a fucking scythe? Wait, have we even had that revealed in game yet? Why is a scythe user? Wait! Oh my god! Is he a necromancer? No way! That's how they revealed the class? What the fuck is that thing? It's like a moon monster? Man, I love that the Crusader being the poster boy for this one's pretty fucking cool. Do they? You promise it's not the Necro? A Scythe user though, like he- So, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting his weapon to be the Scythe. Like, for, for those who don't know that- that was the prince of the kingdom who used to use a katana. He s destroyed his sword, he does not use it, he was choosing his new weapon. I don't think we've had it revealed in game. We've literally had him walk up to a room where it's been posted and it's like he's gonna grab the weapon, but he never grabs it. So, we don't know. I'm looking very nice today, thank you Rainbow. I'm all uh, dad fisherman up, ready to roll. But for now, news drops, so I had to, we have to watch some, uh, some Final Fantasy XIV news. All right, so what's this? Are you sure it's not the Necromancer? Yeah, it's the Necromancer, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a sight. So the, scy so the scythe is a class, there we go. It's the melee caster, so the leaks from all those years ago were real. Yoshi P teasing us and teasing us and teasing us about this class. Damn, those spell effects are dope. I might have an alternate class to play finally, chat. This, this, is, this is aesthetic as fuck. Look at those spell effects. Yoshi teased with two Grim Reaper shirts in one night. Oh, that was an abrupt end. So it's cold, chat. For those who can't see on screen, 
The Reaper. The Reaper is the new class. It's not the Necromancer that we thought, but it's the Reaper. So it seems that it's it's literally the class we thought it was. So it's it's a it's a melee it's a melee caster with uh shades. So it looks like that's its summon because. Uh, it was supposed to have a summon of sorts. I don't know if it was meant to have multiple, and we were like, how's that going to work, especially in melee range? Um, but it looks like we've got our second caster with a summon. The summon is a void synth. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, so it's not its not a shade. It's a void being. So, yeah, if you, so if, again, for those who don't know, this expansion is probably going to be very related to the Void because the Void ships and the things that came out of the ground very much are insinuated with that. And it's very likely Fen Daniel has had done something that's related to the Void Nation that fell and tried to destroy this star in the past. So, we will probably learn a lot more about them this expansion. Um, the last expansion was about the light. This expansion will be probably about the void, or at least partially for a bit. Um, so this very, very much makes sense, and it's about time. We'll find out a lot about the nation that fell. We've already had multiple raids related to it, but we don't know. Like dungeons and raids, all these things insinuating this universe, but we literally do not know anything about them. So. This is exciting, and that's a good class. That's a good way to do it through this class. All right, not over. There's lots of little little trailers here. So this is that town we saw in the trailer. Wow, it looks a lot similar to the one from um, uh, not Stormblood, the one before Stormblood. Yeah, it's very much similar to it. I, I actually think it looked a lot cooler in the trailer. I think it looks a little washed out because of the lighting. I feel like it looks a little bit better in game, but. It's also like Ishgard? Uh, not Ishgard, um, the, the Idleshire? Is that the name of it? The one where we went that was right near um, Alexander. Um, yeah, it's. Oh wow, it looks really nice on the inside. I think that's the problem where this game, it's like, some of the environments, I think, look a little funny in lighting. Also, there's no NPCs around, so that makes it also seem a little bit weird as well. It's because it's the same people. Oh, is this the Idleshire's, like, the, the creator of the area? Damn, this looks really cool. Wait, what is this? Listen to the music. The music's so strange. The music's bizarre. Oh, new map. What is that? It's like a Pegasus lizard? Charlians, that's right. Charlians. It's the collector's edition, so that, that'll be important. Usually any of the mounts we get are pretty important in the collector's editions. Then Thavnir. So you can see the tower in the background, so the towers are still active through this expansion. So this is the elephant people's land. Are they in the trailer? The previous place was underground, really? This place certainly isn't underground, you can see the tower. Also, there's like a floating rock thing. I guess they're not going to show off the, the elephant people, are they? Oh, we see a statue with one. <laughs> that was interesting. It's not really my aesthetic, it's, it's the hard part sometimes where things are just not your aesthetic, and you just sort of accept it. That's, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. The colors kind of hurt me, having so many various different colors, but that's pretty fucking cool looking. <laughs> Look how colorful that is. Look at that. Like, I know some people like just colors. This is obnoxious to me. 
but you won't be seeing the town mostly like that. It's meant to be same themed like uh, Southern Asia, yeah. Very intense colors everywhere. I wonder, so this must be the trade town. So hang on, we've got two major cities. I, oh, hang on, chat. Do we have more than one major city? God, the stream was super saturated too. It was even more, it was even more colorful, really jumpy. That's so funny. Hang on, what else have we got trailer wise? The real stream has heaps more info. Yeah, I will probably watch that later. Um, I don't want playlists, I want new trailer stuff. Um, so there's that. Let's go. Shut up. No. Wait. No, they, they're showing it in a trailer? Well, here's the moon, everyone. Oh, the song. Chat, listen to the song. Oh, no way. So it's straight up, it's like an Asian tower? What is it? Oh, what the fuck is that? Is it mushrooms? There's just crystals everywhere. Why is there just crystals everywhere? Huh. That's really cool. Oh, a dungeon reveal. So is this a dungeon that's going to be in the game or is this a dungeon that's coming up? So this must be a dungeon in the expansion, not a dungeon in... Man, look at all this. Look at these void ships. Void dungeon. I can't even remember the name of the race. Oh god, look at it all. It's fleshy and gross. Oh, this one's so... This is way more gross. Oh look, it's still being controlled by beings. I don't know what, what race that was, but... What is this? Wait, what? What what is happening? This is a train? Are we doing a train dungeon? Where is this? Is th oh, these are in multiple dungeons. Oh, is this in the remnants of the city? Oh wait, is it are we inside the city? This looks like we're inside the capital in a weird way. This can't be a part of the same dungeon. This is pandemonium. Oh, look, it's infested by Void. This has to be in the capital. It's just, it's just a lab, okay. Inoffensive lab. What the fuck is this? Whoa, 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 what? What is this? It's segments of the world. What is this? There's like lava, there's portals, there seems to be like dimensional walls, there's ice, there's a desert. It's either controlling environments in that sector, or they're straight up portals to other areas of the world. What the hell? If this is pandemonium, so hang on, this might be a raid, right? Wait, hang on, is this a raid? Oh, wait. This is a raid, not a dungeon. This will make more sense if it's got all of this going on. This is fucking nuts. This is the eight-man raid. Oh, this makes way more sense. I thought that was a dungeon. I'm like, this is way too much going on for a dungeon. That's pretty crazy. Man, I really want to see what Pandemonium is now, like, lore-wise. 
Because it had so many locations. Seeing my face. You can see my face, it's just covered in glasses right now. Arion. So, hang on, it's part horse, part lizard? Is it a void being? I can't really tell. Is this a void? Void being? It doesn't look like it necessarily, but I don't think we've seen a horse. Wait! It's Slepnir! What? It's... It's got... It's got six feet. This is like Odin's mount. What? Something he doesn't have wings though? Yeah, I know. What? So what is this thing? Does this turn out that Odin actually got his mount from the void? <laughs> Arion. Just so you know, this guy's name is Arion. <laughs> that feels like, it, it feels like too weird to have that. What? Oh, they're doing it! A first ever! Male Vieira! There you go! That's cool. I wonder how many people are going to play them. I know people ask for them. Like, what I will say, man buns. I like that. That's how we can describe them from now on. Man buns. So the Vieira are extremely popular as a race. But I wonder how many people want to be a male bunny boy. We have our male, like, other, like, cat men. Uh, two forms of cat men. Does that mean we hang on, chat, does that mean we're gonna get fam female versions of the, the Tiger Men? We'll just trade races. And people are gonna be hot for these lads. I can tell you that. It feels like a very Japan will be super into this. I don't know how many guys in the West are gonna play this. I feel like girls in the West will probably like these characters, but. I'll be wanting my to leave my data center with how things like this go. <laughs> I might if I played. Wait, Jumpy Buns, do you- hey, hey, hang on, Jumpy Buns, are you following along with all of this but you're not watching- <laughs> you don't play the game? That's impressive if that's the case. So is that- that's all the trailers there? Damn, that's pretty hype. I- I like that. Man, that- there's still more to that trailer, by the way. That- that six minute trailer we just saw there, there is going to be more to it, I think. I think there is one more cut and there'll be a final cut. There is something we're missing in this trailer that's like important and I don't know what. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's going to be something to do with Fan Daniel. I feel like Fan Daniel has got something that we don't know about. I think that's the thing that's driving me so nuts about that character. Fan Daniel is like, um, Fan Daniel is like, got some connection to the void he was doing operations that we didn't know of that he's come back now and now it looks like he's getting more like directly involved and i i wonder 30 minutes of the festival of reaper if you wanted to check it out though uh and you can see what yeah i kind of want to see what yoshi p looks like that's probably what i want to look at now so hang on we'll, we'll quickly look at that and then uh and then I will uh, probably switch back. I doubt there's any more trailers, but I have a quick little little squiz. So here's the trailer again. There's our man, Yoshi P. Oh my god, look at him. Is that him? Did he full dress like this? Look at this blood- oh my god. Chat, just before I continue, Bloodborne has infected Japan. I just want to say that. <laughs> People are super into the gothic look right now, the hunter look. Every woman is vampire D. <laughs> he knows how silly he feels.
What comment? Can he can he see? I don't even know if he can see. え皆さんようこそお越しくださいました。えそしてファイナルファンタジー14ファンフェスティバル。I'm kind of fascinated by the resurrection of this game and its initial garbage form. That's true. That was before Yoshi P was working on it. To now how it's a laundered state. Really is jumpy. It's like. I think every like I'm literally surrounded a bit by Final Fantasy XIV stuff on my right hand side, um, but it's like it's it's crazy to me because it's this thing of like fourteen has become, in my opinion, what MMOs should strive to have. They're so about their community. They are passionate about their story and world crafting. They give the people what they want there is so little in the game that we've ever asked for that we haven't received that doesn't have like a really extraneous sort of thing they understand what they want in terms of fan service they don't rely on the fan service in terms of making things they make and craft so much stuff their team is so good at what they do they are so top tier in the industry of not just mmos but video games and rpgs in general and that's why I'm very excited to see this game continue and get paid. Like, they get money from everyone that plays to continue on. It's the same thing how I feel about Capcom right now. Capcom are doing a fantastic job, and it's a good reason to give them money, to purchase their games, to support them, because they're going to continue doing this good stuff. So, and like, as we saw with how this is supposedly meant to be the end of this arc, they don't want to drag this out forever. Yoshi P intends to end the arc that we're currently doing at this point. World of Warcraft didn't really want to do that. We now have this sort of secular thing where it's like Shadowlands is meant to disconnect it and it's meant to move on out. Whereas Shadowbringers was like, is the last part of a story. Like, it's so weird to compare WoW versus Final Fantasy XIV in the sense where one is dragging something through the mud while the other one is trying to make a full-fleshed idea. Like, they want to see it through. And, yeah. Bloodborne jokes were the thing that, if, for the stream when he came out like that, he it really does look like a hunter. I wasn't expecting that. He fucking loves his stuff, though. It made your tease. Yeah, I think if people didn't quite click what the class was, they knew at that point. Um... When he plays the game, he teases people more. The FF14 uh, makes what they want to while listening to the audience. It's really good for the game, 100%. They, they're they very community first. That's why they make these fan fests. The fact that they, I think a good way of like, I think Grand Blue also does the same as well, where it's like um, Psy Games and Square are very good at doing these fan festivals. And the fan festivals, I think you see the response. Like people are very passionate and they want to get invested in it. And it's like, capitalize on that lean into it give them the people what they want make a comfortable space that people actually feel like they're being listened to yoshi has admitted that in his stream that there will be a new arc at the end of the expansion yeah that's what he said last time as well and uh, uh, it makes sense that's what he should be doing i just i love him in this outfit look at him look at him <laughs> oh my god they got the same translator again this guy Guy's such a nerd. I love him. He's just a dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. These little awkward moments he has with Yoshi P and everything. Wait, 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 Sunrise over a realm reborn. A cold blue, a cold blue sky. The heavens sword. Crimson Twilight, Stormblood, Black of Night, Shadowbringers, and then Endwalker, A New Dawn. Huh. He announced that the Festival of Oceana will have a data center in 6.1. Shut up, Diagon. No way. I won't have to worry about lag. Can I actually do raids? Holy crap. That's really big for me. It, they, surely they'll probably only have like two or three servers. Because that's kind of... We don't need a lot. We just need a space. Because exactly currently as it stands, like, it's just Thank frustrating you. because Australia just has terrible lag. You're just skipping things? I'm not going to watch the full festival. I'm just, like, skipping through just to see. I just like him in the outfit. This is, I just, I just, that must be so hot to wear on stage. <laughs> Yeah, 
into its Oh my god, I, I'm gonna watch this later. I'm not gonna watch this now. This, there's a lot here. But that's exciting. Um, I... Guys... Again, if you aren't playing 14, I would love to suggest for you guys to play 14. But, uh... It's definitely one of those things where... If you haven't played it already... Wait until the, the story squash, if it eventually does happen. Because it's so much content to get through in the base game. There is just so much to do. You'll probably burn out. Um, I've played this game over years and years. Um, but uh, one that, once that happens, I really do think that like, it's, this game is so worth it. The expansions, each of the expansion stories, the main base story. The base story is a little bit like stretched out in a sense, but it's, it's very generic in a sense. But that, that's kind of the remnants of the old, old game as well, sort of seeping through. But Realm Reborn, once its story concludes and it moves into the, the stories of like, um, like Heaven's Sword and Stormblood and all that, like once it moves forward, what they start to establish and they build upon is just so magnificent. The ivory tower they've managed to establish is so wonderful. And uh, it is worth checking out in my opinion. But only if you've got the patience for an MMO. Because at the end of the day, if you haven't got the patience for a game like WoW or more of the standard MMOs, this game may grade at you. Like, if you're not an MMO player, it may not be your thing. But the story is well worth it, I assure you of that. Um, if you like MMOs, the content is very, very, very good. He mentioned that it was hot and needed something to drink. Yeah, I, that needs seem to be, be pretty hot in that. Free trial up to 60. Uh, the thing is that hat probably just stored a lot of heat because you meant to release a lot of heat out your head. So, unlike the, uh, <laughs> the gun breaker where he didn't have to wear a hat. Free trial up to 60. That's true also. Like, that's, that's, there's a lot of content there. Like, it's just... I highly do suggest people picking up this game. Uh, as a beta tester for 2.0, I can undoubt say the game has come a long way. Yeah, really, really, really has. I never played the original before Realm Reborn. I had a friend that did. Um, it was uh, my girlfriend's housemate my was playing juice. it. And it was like, it was <laughs> rough looking. It looked like a rough game and the reviews didn't lie. It was one of those things where it was like, they were really, really didn't hold back. And for good reason, because that game needed to be beaten up. And it's a good thing they did. If they didn't, they wouldn't have made a Realm Reborn. Like, this, this game is so good what it's turned into, and it's so worth playing. So, yeah. All right, enough gushing about Final Fantasy XIV, I think. I didn't play the OG. What I did was I got a special cutscenes through playing two. Oh, interesting, yeah. I've watched some old stuff just to see where that sort of where it was and where it got to, and I think... I think that's probably enough for me. I just don't need any more than that. Also, hey, Taco. How you doing, man? But yeah. All right. 14 times over. I'll, I'll separate that out for YouTube or I'll make a clip on you guys, for you guys if you want to watch it uh, later. But yeah. Back to Nier, though.